Hello and welcome to Sudokanar. Here is a Fortress Sudoku puzzle, which was featured on round 8 of Sudoku Grand Prix 2021. This round was organized by Germany, and the great author Christoph Zediger was the creator of this Fortress Sudoku puzzle. And so the, the visual theme is excellent, with this two and this one, and the principle of Fortress Sudoku. Apart from the usual rules of Sudoku, is that whenever you have a shaded cell, the digit inside must be bigger than all adjacent unshaded cells, and orthogonally adjacent. So there's no relationship between this and that. It was worth 61 points, which makes it a somewhat difficult puzzle, although there were, there were more difficult puzzles than this one, and I remember, no, uh, I found it to be quite smooth when I solved it during the contest, but let's see if I can do as well. So this is a very interesting column because all of those digits have two smaller values. So they must all be at least three. So one and two must be here and because of the given digits, we can put a 1 here and a 2 there. So that's one thing already. Next, where should we look? Hmm. So there's something around those lines. That 1 and 2, that, well, all digits have some constraints. Now, there must be a 3 somewhere. And whenever there's a 3 somewhere, it must be surrounded with 1 and 2. So 3 won't be here, because 1 and 2 are not available. 3 won't be here, because 1 is not available. So 3 has to be here or there. And it will come with a 1 on one side and a 2 on the other side. And there's something similar with four. Four will have four will appear in this column, and it will be surrounded by two smaller digits. And you see that one will not be available, so those two digits will be two and three. So four must be somewhere where you can put a two on its left. So it can only be here. There's a four somewhere here with a two and a three. And now there's something similar with five. Five must be somewhere. It will be surrounded by two smaller digits, but one and two are now fully unavailable. So these two smaller digits will have to be three and four. So this five can't be here, it can't be there. It will have to be here. Surrounded by a three to its left and a four to its right. And then there's something similar with six. Six will have to be somewhere. It can't have one, two, three on either side. So it will be surrounded with four and five. And four is not available here. Five is not available here. So six will be somewhere here. With five on its left and four on its right. No, that's the other way around, sorry. Four on the left and five to the right. And now something similar has to be done with seven, which is that seven will be somewhere surrounded by five to the left and six to the right. And then eight will have seven to the left, sorry, six to the left and five seven to the right and there will be nine somewhere with seven to the left eight to the right so there will be somewhere but I can't quite place them but what I know is that the digits to the left of those will be one two three four five seven eight so I get eight and nine 
here and there in this column. And here to the right, I get two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I must put a nine here, which resolves the eight, nine pair. And now I know that eight and nine are not here. So one of them is here. The other one is here, but nine is not here. So the remaining digit here is eight with six and seven to its side. So I get two scenarios, this one or this one, and the counterpart. I must have a nine somewhere here with seven and eight and this, but because of this eight, nine with seven and eight must be somewhere here. So four, six and five are here. And I must, well, determine, distinguish between the two scenarios here. So one, three, and two here or there. And seven, nine, and eight on the other places. And the missing stuff here is five, seven, and six. So that's a really neat start because we've, uh, we've almost only used everything that is here. Well, we've just used a few of those given digits. Where should we look next? Well, there must be something. <clears throat> Sorry. Where does nine go on this row? It won't be in a white cell next to a shaded cell, so it can only be in this shaded cell. The remaining three digits are one, two, and seven. Mm. Then Then where should I look? Um, well, I'm grinding to a halt suddenly. Oh yes, here. Where do one and two go in this row? Well, all of those cells have at least two neighbors, two smaller neighbors, so none of them can be one or two. So they must go into those cells. Now the question is, could the three go into any of those cells? And the answer is no, because it would have one and two as unshaded uh, the neighbors, but two doesn't go here. So three can't go here. And now this this has five as a neighbor, so it must be bigger than five. And this has three neighbors, so it must be at least four. So three can't go here, so three is there on this row. And we can now disambiguate between the two scenarios. We now know that those digits are six, seven, eight, and nine. And we know that nine has to appear somewhere, but nine could be here. No, nine can't be here. So it's either here or there. Where, where can I look next? So two must be here, but it won't be here because it has two neighbors. So there's no two here. Where is three here? And I think that three can't be in, in this cell. 
So this is bigger than those two digits, so it must be at least four. It can't be those, so it must be four, five, or nine. And I think I'm losing momentum. Two is not here. Two couldn't be here. Oh, actually, I no. This has two neighbors, this has two neighbors. So two can't be here. So two has to appear in one of those two cells. And this disambiguates this lot. Right. So now I know that there's a nine here. It will have to appear in one of those two cells. One can't be here. It could be there. It could be here. Seven is not here. That's not very useful. Oh, where does one go on this row? It's not here. It won't ever be on a, a shaded cell when the when shaded cells are uh, next to other digits to unshaded cells. And where does two go in this row? It's not here, it's not there, too many neighbors, so it can only appear here. And all of this is fully disambiguated. This now must be five, seven, or nine, but it will never be a nine. I still need a one somewhere here, but it's not very useful. Two is not here, it won't be there, so two is here. I get this two. This is not two. So on row four, two can only appear here. Now, there's a three somewhere here, but it won't be there. I don't have small enough neighbors. I still need one, two, five, and six. One, three, five, and six. So this is one or six. Five or six here. One, six, so this is three or five. And one, three or five here. There's an eight somewhere here. There's a five. Five's not here. It can be here with a... Oh no, oh no, there's a one here, sorry. So I get the seven there. One on top. So this is six, this is one. And those three digits are now four, seven, and nine. So this is four, seven, seven or nine. Here I get five, six, and eight. So five can only be here. And both options are valid. Well, what's next? There's a five somewhere here. Doesn't seem to be very useful. Still need three, four, seven, and eight here. So this is three or eight. There's a one here. Three, four, five, and nine. Nine won't be here. Three. This can only be a four. So three, five, and nine here. This can only be three or five. And I get a 3-5 pair here, so this is 7, that's 4. This 7 must come with a bigger digit, which is 8 or 9. There's a 7, 8, 9 triple here, so this is 5. That's a 3. I get a few digits now. 
this row still needs a 3, 8, and 6. 6 is not here. 8 is, well, that's your 8. But 8 here would require a 9 here, which is not available. So that's a 3. I get the 8 at the bottom. There must be a 4 somewhere here. So 6, 7, and 3. 3 is not here. Eight nine pairs, so this is seven, this is nine, that's eight, that's nine, that's eight. This is slowly resolving. I still need a nine on this column, it can only go here. This can only be seven, which resolves the rest of those two columns. Here, four, five, and eight. 8 goes at the bottom, 5 and 4 by Sudoku or just by the special rule of Fortress, that's a 6. And now uh, 3 and 5 just by normal Sudoku logic, 1 and 4, and the last 4, the last 7, and this makes it. So that was a very, very nice puzzle. I absolutely love this logic and I don't remember finding all I've, I've spoken about. I don't think all I found in this solve, uh, I don't think I saw all of it during uh, the contest, but I managed to solve it in a reasonable time anyway, which is the most important. Thanks for watching this video and a huge thanks to all three German authors for this outstanding Sudoku Grand Prix round. See you soon on Sudokanar.